Hello heroes, Joe Smith here again. How are all you heroes tonight? You know, a lot of you by now, you probably heard about that, what, Met Gala, Gala, however it's pronounced. $30,000 a ticket to have dinner at this uh, shindig. Only poor people like AOC were able to attend, you know, poor people that only make like $174,000 a year were able to afford to attend. And she wore this custom dress, this white dress that said tax the rich in big bright letters all across her fat fucking ass you know the Babylon Bee reported on this rich woman wears tax the rich dress to gala for the rich <laughs> and you know you might remember the Babylon Bee uh, in the past years ago was like satire and fake news <laughs> but <laughs> you know this, this kind of sound like something that's probably satire or fake news but in reality no it, it was true the Babylon Bee the Babylon Bee is now your most trusted source for news Well, a lot of people are asking, like, well, you got to be awfully goddamn rich to pay $30,000 for a plate of peas and carrots and corns and beans. I mean, you can get a better dinner than that for, like, what, 15 bucks at your local Golden Crowd buffet? You pretty much go to a homeless shelter to get the same quality of food, same quality and quantity of food that they served. I think Salvation Army serves the same meal every night to homeless people. But here's some interesting news. Some interesting news that Joel Smith kind of heard about through some sources. Through the grapevine, you know, kind of old friends with some military intelligence people. And uh, you're probably going to hear about this first from Joel Smith. Hasn't, don't think it's uh, broke major news yet, but maybe it will here soon. Don't know if Fox News reported on it. You're never going to hear about it on CNN or MSDNC or any of those uh, satire news sources. You aren't going to hear about it on the Daily Show with Trevor Noah. That's for dang sure. But here you go. Here's some shocking news. Shocking news. Breaking news from... Joe Smith News Network here. The dress, apparently, according to Joe Smith sources, was made by this company called Aurora James Brother Vellies, V E L L I E S, fashion brand. And they are owned, or their parent company is Cultural Brokerage Agency. Cultural Brokerage Agency. Again, apologies for Joel Smith's uh, difficulties uh, reading and pronouncing uh, words. It's been a, a kind of a handicap or difficulty ever since little kid growing up but I, I thank God 
most of this pronounced right, Aurora James Brother Veli's fashion brand, which is owned by Cultural Brokerage Agency. Uh, well, Cultural Brokerage Agency has three open tax warrants in New York State, 15 total warrants, tax warrants that is, since 2015 for tax evasion or tax fraud, and six federal liens from the IRS in 2018 through 2019, totaling $103,000, or $103,220, so more than $103,000, $103,220, citing failure to remit employee payroll taxes. In addition to the tax liability concerns, see they're not paying taxes on their employees. In addition to the tax liability concerns, uh, James Company also claimed $41,666 in COVID-19 Payroll Protection Program funds. So, LC wants to tax the rich uh, at her gala or gala for the rich, but apparently tax the rich are richer than those people, or something like that. But her tax the rich dress was made by a company or made by a company whose parent company or owner has three open tax warrants in New York State, 15 total tax warrants since 2015, and six federal liens from the IRS in 2018 through 2019, totaling 103220 for not paying taxes on their employees, for not paying their fair share of taxes. Yes, their fair share of taxes on their employees. They're not paying their employees unemployment taxes, not, not paying their employees Social Security taxes, not paying their employees Medicare taxes. And at the same time, after they already owe over a hundred grand, they're trying to get over forty-one thousand, almost forty-two thousand, in COVID relief payroll protection funds. So they're asking the government for a handout so they can pay the taxes, their fair share of taxes they owe to the government. And this company that made AOC's tax a rich dress. So there. What do you heroes think about that? YouTube is probably going ban Joe Smith over this for breaking the truth and reporting the truth to you heroes. But you know, you heroes freaking deserve the freaking truth. Pardon the language, but freak, 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 you really deserve the freaking truth. And this is the truth. LC's buying dresses for thousands of dollars so she can attend $30,000 dinners with her rich friends, advertising tax rich. And the company that owns the company that makes the dress owes over 100 grand in back taxes on their employees. And that's a good damn freaking truth. You know, growing up on the farm back in Iowa, we had something to say about that. We used to call it hypocrisy at its finest.
put a skanky hole bartender in office and what do you freaking expect? Skanky old bartender does what skanky old bartenders does. You know, twenty nine thousand dollars of that thirty thousand dollar cover charge should have went to taxes. The place they had it probably got like emergency funds from the COVID bill. Seems like all the other Democrats' favorite places, like the. Center for the Arts and Candy Center and uh, Department of Humanities or whatever. All those places got money more than once from like every single COVID bill they got more and more money so this place probably got plenty of money from the COVID emergency bills too so At least twenty nine thousand, that thirty thousand probably should have went towards taxes. But pretty sure everyone that went found some sort of way to write that off on their taxes so they didn't have to so they can pay less income taxes and LC claimed that she got invited as a gift or something and and now there's some sort of investigation into that matter, whether it's appropriate or not. Oh, so what did Trump used to say about Hillary? We need to start saying about AOC. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. And lock up the owner of the company that made her stupid ass dress for tax evasion, not paying their fair share of taxes on her tax the rich dress. Thanks for watching. It's been Joe Smith, sign out.